Here's an example of the windshield wiper servo lab using the RBX430 development board. The servos are plugged into the RBX430 board using the three pin headers J2 and J3. The brown lead coming from the servos should be to the top of the board. The signal orange line coming from the servos should be close to the LCD. After powering up the board, the LCD displays the on-off state, the wiper speed, and the mode of operation. By pressing switch 1, the wipers are turned on. The right potentiometer is used to vary the speed of the servos in ranges from a fast speed of 15 to a slow speed of 0. The servos are to move smoothly back and forth. The direction of each servo's movement is indicated on the LCD by the arrows. By pressing switch 4, we can cycle through the various modes of the machine. In regular mode, the servos are slewing back and forth at the selected speed. By pressing the mode switch, we can enter an intermediate mode. Intermediate mode will slew the servos back and forth and then pause. The pause length being varied again by the right potentiometer from a long pause to a short pause. By pressing the mode switch again, we enter the opposed mode. Opposed mode is similar to the regular mode in the movement of the servos except they move in opposite directions. Again, by pressing the mode, we would cycle back to the regular operation mode. The left potentiometer is used to adjust the brightness of the LCD backlight. It uses timer B and pulse width modulation. I can increase the brightness with a clock clock clockwise rotation or decrease by a counterclockwise rotation. Turning, pressing switch one would turn the machine off. Both servos slew all the way to a home position on the right. Pressing on and pressing off. And that is the servo lap.